Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over Cure Leaf. Um, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below what you think about this stock. So let's get right into this. Now, what is it? Now, I know this page looks enticing and it looks very long, but I'm just going to go over this real quick. If you want to, you can pause the video and read the whole thing. But basically, this is North American. Cannabis Holdings Company was founded in 2010. They have many subsidiaries that produce and distribute cannabis. According to the Times Magazine, a study from, that was conducted from 2001 to 2005 found that there was a 17% increase in alcoholism for every 1% in state unemployment rate. Now, I've included this because since we are have really, really high unemployment rate, right now almost half the U.S. population, then we might see an increase in cannabis use. I don't know. It's just... A hypothesis since alcohol and cannabis are both substances now cannabis is a fast growing industry and more and more states are legalizing cannabis every year so this means that this business will be able to grow and it's not at its full potential right now now there are 33 states that legalize medical cannabis and 11 states that allow it recreational use Curly states the following on their website headquartered in wakefield massachusetts they have they're present in 17 states owned 57 dispensaries and they cultivate in 15 sites 24 processing sites and they focus on highly populated limit licensed states. So these are states that have more lax uh, cannabis laws. That way they can get even more customers. So, so also Business Insider called this company the most valuable marijuana company in the U.S. So getting into the stats, the ticker symbol is C-U-R-L-F. The current price is $6.51. So I think it might be going up. So you might be able to get in a bargain and get more shares, get that more money per share. So earnings, the EPS was down by 2% from 2018-2019, and it is a negative EPS with a uh, one cent negative change, which that 2% is what it represents. Also, the cash flow is negative, but it is rapidly rising at 47.6% improvement from 20. 18 to 2019 also the revenue was up 186.8 percent now that is crazy and it's probably going to keep rising because marijuana is something that a lot of people consume and it's being legalized more and more also the growth in the past month was 18.58 percent so that's a very good growth mainly in the last couple days so moving on here are their subsidiaries so this is all the companies that are subsidiaries according to google so, yep, and here is the EPS. As you can see, it was negative 14 cents, then 2019, negative 15 cents. It did go down, and honestly, I wouldn't be too worried about that because as you can see, the revenue went up drastically from $77.1 million to 20, $221 million. The cash flow. Now, as you can see, it is negative, but it is going up, and if you don't know what cash flow is going to allow, it is going to allow a company to have that money, extra moolah, to expand its business. Now up here in the right, you can see a graph. I circled uh, the, the newest green candlestick. Now this is important because this is a green candlestick close above the SMA20 line. Now this is a good signal for... Uh, possible swing trades so i might be getting into here and seeing if i can get that swing trade because in the past when there has been uh, optimal swing trade conditions the stock has gone drastically up and then it did go down but as you can see we have had quite an increase in the stock since the march crash and you can see this arrow from the last swing trade where you would have entered at the bottom of the arrow and exited at the top of the arrow giving you about a 377 entry point to a 550 exit point so getting down to the left hand side you can see the six month stock graph it looks like most of the stocks right now in the market they all did similar patterns where they crashed in march and slowly gained back now we are seeing a bunch of bunch of big investors saying the stock market might crash in the following weeks i'm going to put a video on that but do be careful uh the volume is okay it's pretty big but in the past when we had bigger ones as you can see there wasn't necessarily a crash the crash was a little later on it's not overbought yet but yeah that's basically my whole uh, overview of this company and thanks for watching look down in the description below there's a weeble link you can use that to get two free stocks once you deposit a hundred dollars and some of these stocks can be valued over a thousand dollars so thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe for the youtube algorithm goodbye